Hi everyone, this is M.A. Today I'm going to show you how to crochet a puff stitch granny square. So let's get started. I'm working with worsted weight yarn and a 5.5 millimeter crochet hook. Start with a slip knot, chain 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Slip stitch to join in the first stitch to form a ring. Carry the yarn end along the outside of the ring and then you can close the hole in the center. Chain two, one, two. And that will count as the first double crochet. Make 15 more double crochet in the ring. To make a double crochet, yarn around the hook, insert into the stitch, pick up the yarn and pull it through, pick up the yarn, pull it through two, pick up the yarn, pull it through two. So continue to make double crochets until you have 16 double crochet in the ring. Okay, I have worked 16 double crochet in the ring. At the end of the row, slip stitch to join in the top of the chain two and fasten off. Now you can pull this yarn end and close the hole in the center. Attach a new color yarn in any stitch, pull the yarn through, lock it in. And we're going to take two more chain stitches. Now in every one of these stitches all the way around, I'm going to make a puff stitch. Yarn around the hook, insert into the stitch, pull up a loop, and pull the loop up as high as the first chain two. I'm going to do that again. Yarn around the hook, insert into the stitch, pull up a loop. Yarn around the hook, insert into the stitch, pull up a loop. You're going to have seven loops on the hook. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Pick up the yarn, pull it through all the loops on the hook. Chain one. Go to the next stitch, yarn around the hook, insert into the stitch, pull up a loop. Yarn around the hook, insert into the stitch, pull up a loop. One more. Yarn around the hook, into the stitch, pull up a loop, pull through all loops on the hook. Chain one. I'm going to repeat that all the way across. and the chain one between each one. You're going to work all the way around. Okay, I worked all the way around. I have 16 puff stitches in my circle. Slip stitch to join at the top of that first puff stitch and fasten off. Okay, I fastened off my pink. In any chain space, I'm going to insert my new color, lock it in, chain two, one, Two. And I'm going to make a puff stitch in every chain one space, but instead of just chaining one in between this puff stitches, I'm going to chain two. So first puff stitch, pull through all the loops, chain two, one, two. Go to the next stitch, make a puff stitch. Chain two. And repeat all the way around. Okay, I worked all the way around and I have 16 puff stitches in my circle. And I'm going to slip stitch to join in the top of that first puff stitch and fasten off. Now I'm going to attach yarn in any chain two space. Lock it in. And I'm going to make the first corner stitch and I'm going to work triple crochets. So I'm going to chain three more times. And then in this same stitch, I'm going to make my corner stitch, triple crochet, yarn around the hook two times, insert into the stitch. Now you're going to pull the yarn through two, pull the yarn through two, and pull the yarn through two. And then chain two. And then make two more triple crochet in this stitch. The hook two times, Pull through two, pull through two, pull through two, and another one. So that's my corner stitch. So now I'm going to make three double crochet in this chain two space 
in this chain two space and in this chain two space and then I'm going to make another corner stitch over here. So three double crochet Three double crochet, three double crochet, okay, corner stitch, three double crochet in those three chain two spaces, and I'm going to make a corner stitch in this stitch. So yarn around the hook because I'm working a triple crochet. So two triple crochet, chain two, one, two, and two triple crochet. Okay, like that. And I'm going to work all the way around. So three double crochet, three double crochet, three double crochet, corner stitch. Three, 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 corner stitch, three, three, three. Okay, I worked all the way around. And there's my last three double crochet. Now I'm going to slip stitch to join in the top of the chain three and fasten off. And that would be your granny square. And there you go. That's how easy it is to crochet this sunburst or starburst granny square. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.